Okay, guys, what is up? It's now Jane Poop here with another brand new Let's Play, and I guess this is kind of a new one, but also a revisit. Uh, so, back in, uh, well, well, I did it back in 2017, but I uploaded it in 2020. I did pick, one of the games I did was Pikmin, the first one, and I also did the sequel Pikmin 2 as well. And, um... Those videos are kind of a bit old now, because uh, I was a kid back then, uh, and um, all that. So, uh, you expected, like, so like a kid voice from me and such. So I decided to, I decided in 2024, yes, this very own leap year, we do this game again. Because I had it for, for a long time. So, without further ado, let's do this game again. Now, I am on the Nintendo Switch version. You can see I've got Pikmin 1 plus 2 here on a cartridge. So, that is really good news. So, without further ado, let's head out and start a new game. And we're going to go with the very first file, obviously, because, obviously, it's really good. So, uh, let's now watch a cutscene. And then we enter the impact site. Oh, right. This pig thing here. Oh no, our ship has broken down. My name is Captain Oliver. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a man meteor. I must have blacked out, and I awoke on a surface of a weird planet. With so many parts lost, the skeletal hull of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone. I'm stranded. To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate that this planet's environment contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. My life support systems can function for only 30 days. If I can't repair the dolphin by then, no! Better not to think about it. I must find the missing ship parts. Uh, yeah, so yeah, we are on Pikmin now. Obviously, this is a this is the Switch version, so it's in HD, but it's pretty much based on. Well, obviously, this came out on the GameCube first, and then then later in 2008 in Japan and 2009 everywhere else, it got ported to the Wii uh, with the new Play Control version, uh, and that has like uh, uh, kind of slightly better controls uh, if you think about it, but. But you can see um, that um, this controls exactly like the GameCube version. I don't know if you can have Wii-based controls as well with gyro controls in this. Because I know you can in uh, Pikmin 3 Deluxe, which is on Switch as well, which is based on the Wii U original. But uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. But I, I prefer GameCube controls, so we're just going to go with that. And go to this thing with a flower on it. Don't walk in front of it. Oh! And then all the all got pushed back. A seed went into the ground. A strange thing has appeared before me. I had barely begun my search when it reared up as it were waiting for me. It then dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable on my home planet uh, that we call an onion. I shall call this an onion too. And then yeah. So we're just going to wait for the seed to uh, pop up. You can also whistle, and we'll look at it closely, and oh boy. 
The seed that the onion dropped took root into the soil and it produced an adorable little sprout. The sprite emits a strange light and it sways back and forth without benefit of wind. I can I cannot help but think of it calling it to me. I compelled I must uh, approach it and press A. In which we pluck it. Extraordinary! When I plucked the sprout, it turned out to be a living creature, not a plant. Picking it has done no visible damage, but it stands there staring at me. Its shape is similar to the Pick Pick brand of carrots I love so much. I believe I shall call it a Pikmin. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet, uh, fighting to survive, and yet I'm. Uh, I must research this fascinating creature. I shall grab it and throw it with A. Right, so then it's basically controls, which is slightly different uh, with the Switch version. So we can throw the Pikmin and um, and all that. So yeah, and it produced these seeds again. Astonishing! The onion has sworn more seeds. The red, the, the small red pellet the Pikmin harvested uh, uh, after cutting down a flower appears to be some type of food that can propagate more Pikmin. The onion seems to be sort of a, an incubator. Needless to say, I must study this strange life for more. We know you do, Olimar, because you're awesome. <laughs> okay. Okay. And if you uh, repeatedly press A, you can uh, automatically block another Pikmin. And then we can go here and get this pellet. And all that. Uh, there's another pellet somewhere. Uh, I believe we need to go up here to get it, though. Yes, it's right up here. It's not on top of the other side, but yeah. Uh, so then... Uh, there is also a gate there that the Pikmin can hit, but I can't seem to reach them there. I can only seem to reach them like that if I'm playing the Wii version, because you can, you can pretty much extend... Uh, Pikmin throws a bit in the Wii version because of the way it controls uh, but on the GameCube version and with the Switch version with normal controls uh, I can only seem to uh, do it normally so so yeah uh, I'm gonna put these Pikmin Yeah, one thing in the Switch version controls weirdly as well, because... Okay, I get it now, uh, because to swarm your Pikmin, which is doing this, in the GameCube version, you can just use the C-Stick, and then that does it. But in the Switch version, I have to hold a trigger button. I have to hold one of the um, shoulder buttons. I think it's the... the L... Well, well, it's not exactly called the L button. Oh no, it is just the L button on the Switch. I have to hold that button in order to, and then use the right stick to swarm. I don't know why they did it like this, but... But, it works. And then we can use at least 10 Pikmin to push this box. Well, the more Pikmin you have, the faster it'll push. I don't know if it'll be slightly faster though, with only 14 Pikmin, but... Alright. The Pikmin are as curious as children. They form groups to perform tasks that would be impossible for an individual. A glimmer of hope that began to shine in my heart. If I can make it use of their skills, perhaps I can fix my ship. I shall sum up all I've learned with the Pikmin construct. Yeah, I'm going to read the rest. We have this thing right here. Amazing! There's no mistaking it. My ship's engine rests before my very eyes. By a stroke of pure luck, I have already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Fate has smiled upon me, but how would I get it back to the dolphin? Well, by carrying Pikmin, of course. Uh, but we're not going to do that yet. First, we're going to get more Pikmin, because we need more, so... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's best if we have 10 on that, because it carries it faster. Uh, and then, I'm just going to have one Pikmin carry each of those. Is that going to push a bit? No. Okay. So, as you all carry that, we then, 
Do 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 do. It's a lot of stuff in the impact site, but obviously you can't access it all now. You could try and break that gate early, but otherwise we have to come back for it later. But depends how you throw, how well you throw your Pikmin and all that. Except they're not gonna come back. Okay. Okay. Right, you guys are gonna go to that thing over there. I'm just gonna do that, so why not? And then, uh, I'm gonna pluck all of these Pikmin. Were many Pikmin seeds brought at once. I, I find it rather tedious to pluck them from the ground individually. My wife always told me that I was no good at routine tasks. I'm trying to make it done by pressing and holding A. Oh, 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 just holding A works? So if I let go of A, okay. And if I just hold A. Oh, I didn't know you can hold A. Because um, I, I was used to just spamming the A button uh, and, and it did the same thing. But uh, regardless, it works, eh? it, it works overall, so. All right. Get all of the Pikmin on there. All are 25. 25 out of 20. <laughs> and then we gotta go to the ship right here. And we can even uh, talk to the ship. Well, not really. I have recovered zero out of 30 ship parts. Just one more part would increase the dolphin's capabilities. And which is that thing over there. There's nothing up here, but you get a good glimpse at the impact site. I prefer to zoom out even more so then we can see we can see everything else on site. See, there's a bit of water over there, and um, it's mostly just grass, though, so, yeah, we will come back to the impact site one day, but there's nothing too much here, because uh, this is basically like a training area, so, here we go, and the, and the ship just flicked back up, and we installed the engine. Oh, glorious! With the help of these Pikmin, I've taken a huge step back towards home. My ship can once again lift off. The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. But what has become the remaining parts? That search starts tomorrow. It's time for bed. And blast off to space again. Along with the Pikmin Onion. One day since impact. I have somehow managed to launch the dolphin, but it was surprising to see the onion lift off with me. Perhaps the Pikmin cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface. Or have they merely decided to join me for the other reasons? Either way, it seems that they will help me again tomorrow. The dolphin is missing 29 parts. If I can't recover them all, I may never return home to my family on planet Hockertate. Uh, analysis shows life support systems will function for only 29 more days. How can I repair my dolphin in such a short time? A, a, a dense uh, forest is visible on the surface below. As it holds the keys to, uh, to my survivals, I name it, I'll name it the Forest of Hope. I'll explore it tomorrow. And here's our status of the Pikmin population. Uh, so, so the sprouted means that we got the, the, the new Pikmin were born. Lost in battle means the Pikmin will die against enemies. And the ones left behind are the ones that we accidentally leave behind before sunset. Yeah. And then we get an option to save the game if we want. And obviously we are going to do that. We're going to do that all the time. And here's our world map. So that's the MPEG site and here's the Forest of Hope. You can do this on the map as well and make the ship go crazy. And there's also the ship's log that uh, is just Olimar's stuff that he talks about. But next time on Pikmin, we will go to the Forest of Hope. 
So I shall see you guys in the next video. It's as I dream about. See you guys next time. Bye!